Welcome back to the Great Western Terrier Association of Southern California. I'm Bill Ellis. I'm here alongside Gina DiNardo for AKC TV. We've had a very full day of beautiful terriers. We started the day with the first show of the Great Western Terrier Association. We saw the sweepstakes group with yep. all those beautiful puppies. We saw the regular group judged. And now we're going to see round two, round two <laughs> the national owner handled series group. And again, regular variety group to be judged after that. And here come the Terriers. So we're kicking things off here with the National Owner Handled Series group. And National Owner Handled Series is a year-long competition put on through the American Kennel Club. Uh, each kennel club can elect to have National Owner Handled Series classes at their show. And each dog in the competition must be owned and handled by its owner. And at the end of the year, at the AKC National Championship, we have the finals. So everyone's working towards the National Championship. Our judge this afternoon for the National Owner Handled Series group is Karen M. Child from Casa Grande, Arizona. And we start right away with first dog, the Airedale Terry. Should turn off everybody real quick. Like most terriers, the Airedale has a broken coat. So it must be hand stripped or clipped. They're very sturdy, athletic, and intelligent. They have a calm and eager demeanor. They were also bred to hunt, and that hunting aptitude comes from some of their hound ancestry. They have a very friendly personality, but they will not back down if challenged. The largest of the terriers, a long-legged terrier. Next up, we have the white bull terrier, active, strong-willed, strong-willed. They love to be the center of attention. They're kind of clownish. Should be well-balanced, have plenty of bone and muscle. Divide the terriers into really three types of terriers, the long-legged terriers, the short-legged terriers, and then the bull breeds. The bull breeds, strong, active, powerful, lots of muscle. Gotcha. This bull terrier is Cherry. Cherry is almost three years old from here in Los Angeles, California. Bull Terriers have such a distinctive look with that signature shape of their head, that egg shape. And next up we have the Kerry Blue Terrier from Ireland. Very outgoing, playful, watchful breed. They have a soft, non-shedding coat. They should have plenty of bone and muscle. They were both hunters and herders. They were actually used to herd sheep and cattle, also used as a ratter, and later as police dogs in England, a real all-purpose worker. This Carrie Blue Terrier is ready. She is three years old from here in California, El Cerrito, California. She is the number one owner-handled Carrie Blue Terrier.
targets you just on the first down. So go, go back to the next target. Gotcha. Now we have the Rat Terrier. They come in two sizes, miniature and standard. This is the standard. Should be sturdy and athletic. They're very loyal, inquisitive breed. Used as a watchdog, ratter, and hunting dog. Farms. They can be reserved with strangers. They're affectionate with their owners. They tend to be pack oriented a little bit more than most terriers. Super athletic breed. They excel in lots of different dogs <laughs> for. And AKC Dog Sports, the other sports, they're great outlet outlets for active dogs. So much fun bonding time with you and your your dog. They get lots of training, exercise, mental stimulation. If you're looking for something to do with your dog. AKC has 22 different kinds of sports to try. And now we have the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Very intelligent, highly brave and courageous. Head should be short and broad, very muscular. They're known for their strength and agility. Staffordshire Bull Terriers are pretty exuberant. Very, very strong for their size. Now we have the Bedlington Terrier. Intelligent, adaptable. Possible ancestors included the Dandy Dinmont, the Whippet. They're very athletic and that back, back has a distinctive arch. The front legs are set close together at the feet and they're wider apart at the elbows. It gives them a kind of triangle-like appearance in the front of their legs. This is Ellie. She's two and a half years old from Huntington Beach, California. With her owner and handler, Tammy Colbert. They're a strong, tough breed, but they're also very loving. And they, they appear outwardly to be more calm than other terriers, but they're just as tough and tenacious as the, tu the toughest terrier. Yep. Now we have the Parson Russell Terrier. This is Jinx. She's six years old from Garland, Nebraska, with her owner and handler, Tricia Stanchik. Best of breed winner at Westminster Kennel Club last month. These are a true working fox terrier. They should be bold and alert. Sturdy, rugged, compact. They're designed to hunt both above and below ground. This square shaped breed. Fearless, hardy. A beautiful face. So expressive. The eyes are gorgeous. Now we have the miniature bull standard. Standard is the same as the larger bull terrier, except for its size. Miniature bull terrier. They have a lot of energy. They're very active. With plenty of exercise. 
is needed. Like the other bull breed, they're mm -hmm. very strong for their size. Yep, should be squarely proportioned and again distinguished by this long oval shaped head. Their standard describes them as full of fire, courageous, even tempered, and amenable to discipline. This is Frida, she's just seven months old. She's darling. From Santa Barbara, California. I don't know how they didn't put cute in that breed standard. Right, they're adorable. they're adorable. Just adorable. But all terrier. Now we have the smooth fox terrier. This is Sunny. Sunny is just shy of two years old with his owner and handler, Brittany Lusk. This is a dy dynamic breed. They're very energetic, very lively. It's never boring if you live with a fox terrier. Sunny lives with an Australian cattle dog, so he thinks he is a cattle he dog, including the herding then, part. Yeah. yeah. They are full of energy. I had one, and she just constantly bounced, jumped. Yeah, I feel like they're always yeah. jumping straight jumping up in the straight air. Up. Yep. So f they're so well behaved in the ring, but the minute you get them out, they're like, bong, the little. I think of them like pogo stick. Just <laughs> constantly jumping, full of life and energy. They should have nice square proportions, short level back, very high tail set. Tail should be carried up, not over the back. Their skull is narrow and flat. a very beautiful breed. Outline is lovely. Now we have the Border Terrier. Border Terriers were developed along the border of England and Scotland. Considered to be one of Britain's oldest terriers. Breeds noted for that distinctive otter head, which consists of a Flat, broad skull and short, filled, well-filled muzzle. They make wonderful companions. This is a breed that does shed a bit. They, like other terriers, they like to bark. They like to dig. So, they need some energy. Yep, and a good fence yard or a leash. Always. They were bred to chase some vermin. Border Terriers were developed to be small enough to squeeze into a foxhole, but large enough to keep up with a horse. Now we have the Manchester Terrier, the standard Manchester Terrier. They were developed as a premier rat hunter. They're highly intelligent, very active. Short, smooth, glossy coat. Very distinctive wedge-shaped head. The oldest documented terrier breed. Very popular as pets and working dogs in Victorian times. They're very smart, great little obedient dog, very agile. Now we have the Cairn Terrier. This is Trumpy. He is three years old, just turned three years old on Valentine's Day <laughs> from Thousand Oaks, California. This is a rugged, no-nonsense breed. They have a hard, weather-resistant coat. They should be strong, but they're not heavily built. Head is shorter and wider than most of the Terriers. Yeah. 
Lovely, small, wide set eyes, shaggy eyebrows. Should have a foxy expression. Trumpy's being shown by his owner, Daphne Green. Such a cute face. <laughs> They always seem happy. They always look happy. Now we have the Sky Terrier. This is Jasper. Jasper is two years old from Gold River, California. Sky Terriers are fearless and very devoted to their owners should be twice as long as they are high and have a very high head carriage. They have large oval f feet. They're design designed for digging. And they have very powerful mm -hmm. feet and legs. Very strong. And of course, this distinctive coat that helps protect them from the weather and the elements. They can be reserved with strangers. I, I always find they're selective with whom they're going to share their affection. I think that's a good yeah. description, <laughs> right? <laughs> but those who own them love them. They're fabulous. They are fiercely loyal oh. to them. Yep. Now we have the Australian Terrier. This is Anna. Anna is three years old. She's being shown by her owner, Teresa Chater. This terrier was used to, for so many different purposes. They killed rats and snakes. They herded sheep and geese. They're a watchdog. They have strong prey drive. They're very sturdy. They're deceptively athletic. They're excellent climbers and jumpers. Should have a rectangular shape proportion. And one of the few terrier breeds developed outside of Britain, developed in Australia, like their name suggests. Mm -hmm. They used to be called the Sydney Terrier. Then they were renamed the Australian Terrier. Now we have the Russell Terrier. Newer breed to AKC, registered in 2012. Might be the cutest terrier <laughs> if we're having a contest. This is Indy. Indy is three years old. A local dog from here in Los Angeles with his owner and handler, Riley Captain. Riley went best junior handler earlier today she with did. Riley. I mean, Riley with her, this dog, she had Indy. This breed has lots of stamina, very determined, smart. They're great problem solvers. They're predominantly white with tan or black markings. They were used to work below ground, hunting for vermin. Should be very confident and active. How can you not love that face? <laughs> They're adorable. If you're just joining us, this is the Great Western Terrier Association of Southern California, and we're starting off our second show here at Great Western with the National Owner Handled Series group. Once this group is over, we will have the regular terrier group, which should start at about 6 p.m. here on the West Coast. Here we have the Scottish Terrier. Double-coated breed with, again, hard, wiry outer coat, soft, dense undercoat, protects them from the elements. Be a dignified, somewhat reserved breed. 
they become very attached to their families, and even often to one person in the family. Bright, dark, piercing eyes, compact, short-legged, very sturdily built. We see, we see them black, but they also come in Wheaton and Brindle. We were talking earlier today. Bill and I discovered we both love Wheaton we Scotties. Love, I do we love Wheaton Scotties. This. I have some friends out there who are probably watching who can confirm my love for Wheaton Scotties. They're beautiful. They're all beautiful, but it's a very cool color. Now we have this Celium Terrier. The Celium Terrier is Annie. She's just eight months old. Oh. From Seattle, Washington. She's doing awesome. She is with her owner and handler, Kate Black. Another waterproof coat or weatherproof, predominantly white. They should have long, broad head, furnished with lots of facial hair. They're outgoing. They can be stubborn. They're very smart and brave. They're bred to work in packs, so instinctively they'll cooperate with other dogs. But they're one of the strongest little dogs I've ever known. Yeah, when I think about that tenacious, sort of independent terrier spirit, this is what comes to mind, feeling him. One of my dear friends who is a terrier expert has described them as the running back, the NFL running back of the terriers. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> and that is our last dog in the owner handled series terrier group. And now we're going to walk down the line, follow our judge as she gets a second look, second time to refresh her memory up close talk about looking at their heads here expression more of the specific features of the breed that you don't see from far away eye shape eye color head proportions expression looks like she's gonna pull out some dogs here to have another look starting with the Scottish Terrier the Sky Terrier the Cairn Terrier Border Terrier the Parson Russell Terrier Bedlington and mini the bull. Harry Blue Terrier the mini bulls out there she's going to have the other Terriers I think just go around one more time for a last look. And then she'll work with the ones that she's kept in the ring. work with a little more or seven seven I can't count <laughs> they're gonna go one at a time around oh excuse me we're gonna go down and back one more time moving the mini bowl again comes the Cary Blue Terrier for a, another down and back. Karen Terrier. Another good look at the Karen Terrier. 
This is a nice way for our judge to have another look at all these dogs and remember what she saw and felt the first time during their individuals when she had her hands on them and watched them. And it looks like she's going to pull the Kerry Blue Terrier out, followed by the Parson Russell Terrier, the Bedlington Terrier, and the Mini Bull. And there it is. And One, there two, three, it is. Four. Congratulations, the Carrie Blue Terrier, the winner of our owner handled terrier group here at Great Western. Now, that dog and all the dogs that have placed will earn points towards the national owner handled series ranking. The top dogs at the end of the qualifying period, which is in the middle of October for this year, will qualify and earn a spot at the owner handled finals in Orlando, Florida this December. While the judge marks her book and gets her ribbons, we're going to send out Bill Ellis to interview both the winner and our judge. Matt, do you have me on this? Check one, two, three. Big, beautiful ribbon she's won there. Two ribbons and a trophy. Congratulations. Very happy. I'm sneaky. I'm here with our winner, the Kerry Blue Terrier, and our judge, Karen M. Child. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Very fun to watch. So, Karen, what made the difference for the Kerry Blue Terrier tonight? She was so calm, and she is so nicely put together and very well handled. Excellent job. It was really fun to watch. Congratulations again. We're going to be back in just a few minutes with the regular Terrier group here at the Great Western. Over 2,800 dogs compete but only one can be named Westminster Best in Show Champion. He's best in show. Congratulations, King. Thanks for making Purina Pro Plan your nutrition of choice. We all want more time, quality time to spend on what matters most to us. At the Canine Health Foundation, we're committed to helping dogs live longer, healthier lives. That means more play time, more walk time, and more love time. Visit us to learn more. Is your pet trying to tell you something? The Pet Comfort Feeding System by WeatherTech. 100% non-toxic and lead-free. Made from U.S. stainless steel and certified by the NSF. Designed to trap spills and messes. Trust the way you feed your pet. Choose the perfect size and color at PetComfort.com. Home. Home is where family comes together. Home is where you go to relax. Home is where you feel secure. With the AKC line of premium pet products, you can rest assured that your pet feels safe and secure in their home too. AKC, because every home deserves a good dog and every dog deserves a good home. AKC Secure Pet Living Products, available at The Home Depot. AKC TV, the digital network for all things dogs, brings you AKC Live, featuring canine events from around the country. All the action in your own home. Sit ringside at your favorite dog show. Get a front row seat at agility and obedience trials on AKC Live. Only on AKC TV, powered by the American Kennel Club. Find us anytime, anywhere, online and on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. AKC Live, only on AKC TV. Welcome back to the Great Western Terrier Association of Southern California. I hope everyone enjoyed my little audio Better check there. Better known as the, the Great Western. <laughs> um, we're having a presentation 
in the group ring right now before we get started with our terrier group. This is our best junior handler judge today. This is Caitlin Rosales with her Sky Terrier Dreamer, who was best junior handler at the second show today. Congratulations to Caitlin. Coming up is the last event of our evening, the second Terrier group of the day. Our judge today is Mrs. Ann Katona from Reno, Nevada. We have a full group, about 30 Terriers. You can get to see a lot of gorgeous dogs, a very stiff competition we had earlier today in the yeah. first Terrier group. And a long day for these guys, two shows in one day. Take a nap. They're good. Yeah, <laughs> they don't mind. They get to rest in between. So we'll see some dogs that won this morning and are again in tonight. And then there's going to be some new dogs that we're not in the first group today. As we mentioned, Terriers developed mostly in Britain. Yep. Developed to. Hunt vermin. Hunt vermin. Yep. They were expected to hunt, eradicate vermin, guard their family's home, serve as companion. Versatile breeds in the terrier group. They still retrain, retain a lot of those working traits, even though now they're just primarily companion animals. Working them all around. We get to the end here. It's a full ring. Yeah, a very full group of terriers. We classify the terriers like Two or three ways. We have the long-legged terriers that primarily were used to tackle larger prey and keep up with fast-running packs of foxhounds during the hunt. We have the bull breed. They're designed to be strong, agile, and used for bull baiting. And we have the short-legged terriers, the Scottish terrier, the Karen terrier, the Celium. And they're bred to pursue prey like foxes and badgers, but they're bred to go underground. And a few of these breeds will go and hunt I'm both above ground and underground. And we're going to start with the Airedale Terrier. Long-legged terrier used to hunt and force game. During wartime, they acted as sentries and messengers. They're very friendly personalities, but they will not back down when challenged. This is Rex. He is 21 months old from Fairfield, California. Now we have the American Staffordshire Terrier. Very compact, muscular, strong dog, weighing up to 70 pounds. They're confident, smart, good-natured. This is Poncho. He's three years old with his breeder, owner, and handler, Ed Thomason. One of the top, te top terriers in the country right now. He is and was the winner of the first show of the day. So we'll see if Poncho can repeat again our second show. Now we have the Carrie Blue Terrier. A hunter and a herder, also a ratter, used as police dogs in England. Good guard dog. This is Azul. He is four years old with his handler, Connor McFadden. Breed should have plenty of bone and muscle. They have this soft, non-shedding coat. Excellent watchdog, very watchful. Friendly and social. Can be tough. <laughs> but that's tough in a good way. Yeah, fun. <laughs> yep, strong, bold. Great, typical terrier temperament. Now we have the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. 
Nice medium-sized dog. Still one of the largest terriers. Used for herding and guarding. Another one of the terrier breeds developed in Ireland. They should always appear half happy and courageous. The hair is longer over their eyes and their chin always has, and they're always coming this beautiful wheat in color. And a different coat texture than a lot of the terriers. They have a slightly wavy single coat with a silky texture. And now we get a look at our first bull terrier in the terrier group. This is the white bull terrier. There's that beautiful egg-shaped head. They have a gentle curve from the skull to the tip of the nose. They have a sweet disposition, but they're also full of fire. They're friendly, affectionate. The boys can weigh up to 80 pounds. This is Ralphie. He is three years old from San Lorenzo, California. Now we have the colored bull terrier. The standard is exactly the same for the two varieties, except for the color. Bull terriers love to be the center of attention. They acquire, they actually demand attention and interaction. <laughs> yes, they you do. Not ignore a bull terrier if it's in your home. And they would be miserable if you did. Yeah, not meant to be couch <laughs> potatoes, right? They're clowns. They're clowns, they're active, they're social, devoted companions to their owners. This is Cherry. She's almost three years old from here in Los Angeles, California. We saw both of these same bull terriers in our owner handled group that just finished. So they're getting lots of good ring time <laughs> this afternoon. Now we have the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. This is a breed that is highly active. They're playful, they're robust. They must have vigorous daily exercise. They excel at sports such as fly ball, agility, and obedience. This is Zeus. He is three years old from Oregon, the number one Staffordshire Bull Terrier in the country right now. They're very sensitive, people-oriented. Make excellent watchdog. Mm. Now we have the Irish Terrier. Long-legged terrier, rectangular in shape. A little racier than lots of the other terriers. This is Pie, being shown by Gustavo Molinari. The Irish terrier is built for speed and endurance. Rectangular in proportion, one of the oldest terrier breeds. They're smart, quick, very animated. They have a very nice temperament. They're brave, but gentle, very loyal. There's that typical dense wiry coat we see on many of the, so many of the carriers. And now we have the standard Manchester Terrier. Short, sleek, black and tan coat is hallmark of the breed. Very athletic and energetic, but they love to curl up in, on the couch with a blanket. Nice snooze in the I afternoon. I think they, the blanket <laughs> is key there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a mini miniature, a toy, uh, and all he he's always burying himself under the blanket. <laughs> this is Riot. He's three and a half years old from Oakdale, California. They tell us that Riot's favorite snack is Sour Patch Kid. <laughs> Manchesters are exceptional rat killers. They're a very b rare breed in America. No, they are excellent pets. People should investigate them. 
And they were very popular in, in England at in one Victorian point. Victorian times, they were very popular. One of the most popular terriers, And actually. the oldest terrier, right? Yes. Now we have probably the most popular terrier today in the United States, the miniature Schnauzer terrier that comes from Germany. This is Twink. Twink just turned two years old. She's from Fairfield, California. She's being shown by Jorge Oliveira. Schnauzer's very spunky and rugged, muscular, fearless. Medium in terms of activity. They're very smart. Great little watchdogs. Twink was best of breed at the Westminster Kennel Club a few weeks ago where she was shown by her breeder and owner, Karma Ewer. This bushy beard and eyebrows that give them an almost human-like expression. A great show dog. Next, we have the Rat Terrier, one of the newer Terriers, the AKC. This is Aretha. She's two years old from Gig Harbor, Washington, with her handler, Kathy Spears. The breed is known for intelligence, athletic ability, loyalty. They're highly observant and very intelligent. They're playful. should be well balanced and compactly built. They have this nice smooth short coat, smooth level back. Now we have the Bedlington Terrier. Bedlington has the unique shape the arch over the loin, groomed in a manner different than all other terriers, shaved soft ears, these little pom-poms at the bottom, and often described with as having a head of a lamb and the heart of a lion. This is Ellie. We just saw Ellie a little earlier in the Owner Handled Series group. Here she is again. She is two and a half years old from Huntington Beach, California. Just got a group three, right? That's right. Wigging tail, happy. Love that wagging tail. <laughs> <laughs> They're very sweet and loving with their family. They're very strong and determined. the Welsh Terrier. This is Pupita. She's 21 months old from San Diego, California. Just recently completed her championship. Another old terrier breed. One of the oldest terrier breeds. Always shown it always comes in this black and tan coloration yep have been called the black and tan wire-haired terrier before as well as the old english terrier they're a diligent worker they're always looking for action they're intelligent alert willing to please very friendly they have a very high working drive true working terrier Now we have the Lakeland Terrier. Lakeland's activity level is moderate to high. They're er energetic. They're developed by farmers to hunt and control vermin around the Lake District of Cumberland, England. They should be squarely built. They are a long-legged terrier. Should have a nice short level back. Rectangular shaped head.
They're intelligent, very smart. Breed is known for having a sense of humor. Now we have the Parson Russell Terrier. This is Jink, another dog that we just saw in the Owner Handled Series group, and we saw her earlier in our first show. She's six years old from Garland, Nebraska. True working fox hunter. They're bold, alert, fearless. Should be compact. They're designed to hunt fox above and below ground. Jink's hunt does that. She hunts on her... 40 acres. Keeps her in good shape. Yeah, it does. So she has great muscle tone under that wiry coat. Her breeder and owner here, Trisha Stanchik, tells us that they are just here to serve Jane. <laughs> I e spoiled, but in a very good in way. In a very good <laughs> way, as all dogs should be. Yep. Looks like a Jane. Yes, she does. It's the perfect <laughs> yeah, it's name. That's a great name for her. Now we have the wire fox terrier. This is Rupert. He is three years old from Santa Barbara, California, being shown by Christian Rangel this afternoon. Wire fox terriers are. The very, very successful show dogs, and of course, recently King, the Wire Fox Terrier, was best in show at the Westminster Kennel Club. Yep, this is a very energetic, lively breed, used in combination with foxhounds for hunting, and they're also used for general vermin control in kennels and stables. The smooth and the wires were designated as two varieties of one breed in the United States until 1984 when they were reclassified as separate breeds. And now we have the miniature bull terrier. Bred down from the larger bull terrier breeds that we saw earlier. This is Vipa. She is three years old. She's with her handler, Susie Oliveira. We saw her earlier, and she won the breed earlier today and was in the first right, group. At the first show. This is Vipa's last weekend of shows before she returns to be a mom. They're the quintessential terrier, inquisitive, playful, good-natured. Full of fire, very courageous. Here's that beautiful egg-shaped head we talk about. She Plus just looks like she's ready to go, right? Mm-hmm. And now the border terrier. Developed on the border of England and Scotland, considered to be one of Britain's oldest terriers. This is Duncan. He is three years old from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Medium sized terrier with moderate bone, should have a narrow build, hard, wiry coat. There's that distinctive otter head we talk about all the time. They had to be small enough to go down into the foxhole, but large enough to keep up with the Horses. Very spunky breed. We make great pets. Very friendly, loving. Now we have the Smooth Fox Terrier. The Smooth Fox Terrier is. Linda, she's just a year old from Sacramento, California. Linda's breeder and owner is actually Amy Rutherford, who we'll see a little bit later in the Terrier group with a different dog. Amy won a few breeds today, so 
Can't show them all. Three. Linda is actually the youngest Smooth Fox Terrier to ever win a Best in Show. She went Best in Show at her first dog show that she ever attended at six months and three weeks of age. Wow. It's a very, should be a small, compact, well-balanced breed. Straight legs. With a narrow, flat skull. Now we have the West Highland White Terrier. This is Irene. Irene's just 13 months old. Being shown by her breeder, Sandy Campbell, from Stanwood, Washington. Westies comes from Scotland. They're very compact, should be small, well-balanced, one of the short-legged terriers. They have a nice blunt muzzle, which is shorter than the skull. The breed's hallmark is their piercing, inquisitive expression and their dark almond-shaped eyes. Westies were bred to be white so that they could easily be spotted in the field and not mistaken for the quarry. That's super important. Now we have the Cairn Terrier. It's a no-nonsense working terrier, sturdy, well-proportioned. That harsh, weather-resistant coat. Short-legged, strong, but not heavily built. Wide-set eyes and shaggy eyebrows. Very sweet faces. The great working terriers. The back in Scotland. Another breed that excels at various sports, like obedience, agility, earth dog, and tracking. Now we have the Glen of a Mall Terrier. This is Stella. She's three years old. From Seattle, Washington. Glen. Should be long and muscular. Should have great substance for their size. Their front legs are bowed and their feet are strong and round. Should have a very broad domed skull. Lovely expression. Look at those eyes. They're great diggers. They've been known to dig under fences and things. So even if you have <laughs> a fenced in yard, this is you one you keep have to an keep an eye, eye on. on. Yep. If you are just joining us, I'm Bill Ellis. I'm here with Gina DiNardo from for AKC TV. We are at the Great Western Terrier Association of Southern California. This is our second show of the day. We had back-to-back -back shows today. A wonderful event. Lots of terriers. This is the Scottish Terrier on the table right now. Yep. Rectangular shaped breed, known for the beard and eyebrows. Small rectangular prick shaped ears. Very tenacious, strong. Become very attached to their owners. She has these bright, dark, piercing eyes. strike me always as dignified, very reserved sometimes with strangers, but they're fearless and feisty. There you see that right there. <laughs> yep, very feisty. Oh. A word we've used a lot today. It they're is our fourth terrier group of the day. So. And they're all <laughs> supposed to be. They're like they're varying degrees of feistiness in yeah. this group.
Now we have the Dandy Denmont Terrier. So unique in its structure, its shape, even the way it's groomed, with large top knot of hair on the top of its head, long rectangular shaped body, big round eyes, soulful eyes. They should be a series of curves. They go kind of down over the shoulders, up over the loin. There's those deep melancholy eyes we talk about. And a great wagging tail. This is Higgins. He is 16 months old. Here from Kailua, Hawaii. Oh, wow. Lucky him. They're bred to hunt otter and badger. They have delightful, entertaining personalities. This is the Norfolk Terrier. This is Belle. Belle is two years old. We saw her earlier today in our first show where she was second in the Terrier group. So we'll see how she does here in our second show. Originally from England, being shown by Amy Rutherford. For the, a small Terrier, they're very strong, very tough excellent hunters look at that tail super happy here <laughs> there's a wiry harsh coat keeps it weatherproof now we have the chesky terrier another very unique looking terrier coat is unique in terms of its softness and silkiness. Its shape is unique. The arch over the loin. This is Anna. Anna is here from McAllister, Montana with her breeder and owner, Julie Gritton. She is three years old. They're a little calmer and quieter than some of the terriers. Anna won best of breed at the AKC National Championship in Orlando, Florida in December from the classes. She beat oh, all wow. the champions there. They always come in this gray color. There's several different shades of gray that you'll find them in, but they're always gray. Nice long head and bushy beard and mustache. Another breed with a bushy beard and mustache is this breed, the Celium Terrier. Strong, muscular, compact, heavy bone for its size. Great strength, attitude, never stop. Always this white color, with, often with a little bit of marking there on the face or head that you see. This is Twiggy. She's two years old. Sometimes I see the name just fits so perfectly. I smile when you say the names. I don't think that and right, Twiggy's yep. perfect. Mm -hmm. She's being shown by Alfonso Escobedo. There's that driving motion they have. They're known for this great reach and drive. Like little linebacker, or I was like little Mack truck. They're just powerful, powerful. those powerful little legs. Yep. If you are joining us on Facebook, make sure to go over to our website, which is akc.tv, where you can find lots of additional great content on demand. And also check out the AKC TV app, which is available on Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV, as well as our new mobile app that we just launched very recently, which is available in the Apple Store and on Google Play. Here we have the Sky Terrier. Fearless, very devoted breed. Twice as long as high. Should have a very long, graceful neck and a level back. They're reserved with those who they don't know. They can be selective in terms of their affection. 
They're sensitive, but not submissive, just particular. That, that, that's the perfect description, <laughs> just particular. This is Cole, he's two years old. Here from Yuba City, California with his breeder, owner, handler, Judy Davis. We have this beautiful, glossy, flowing coat serve to protect them from the cold and from bites from other animals. Now we have the Australian Terrier. This is Anna. She's three years old from Vacaville, California. A small, sturdy terrier from Australia. Not bred for one particular task, but a great working terrier. Confident, hardy, rectangular in shape, very agile and athletic. There's a wide set, deep, dark eyes. Rectangular shape. Wiry coat. Terriers that have these wiry coats, they do not shed. They must be stripped or clipped to keep them. Oftentimes you can brush and pull out the dead hairs. Yeah, but, they're but not very minimal shedding. But grooming, or you have, must take them to the groomer. Not they get bushy looking. They do. These handlers and groomers work oh, very, very hard. They do. Keep them looking this way. So pretty. Here's the, the Russell, Russell terrier. terrier. This is Demi. She's two years old from Santa Barbara, California. She's being shown by Andrew Peel. A rectangular, short-legged terrier. With charming face, big dark eyes, very expressive. Very feisty, happy, peppy little dog. Demi also does work as a therapy dog. Oh. They're sweet-natured, loving. They melt your heart, those little faces, sometimes. They always look happy, this breed. And our final terrier in the terrier group this evening is the Norwich Terrier. Ike with his handler Kathy McFadden. See that foxy like expression. Harsh, wiry outer coat. Short back, very strong. Terrier for its size. Great little hunter, always on the go. Lots of attitude. Ike won the Terrier group at the AKC National Championship in December in Orlando at the end of the year. Big win for him and was fourth in the Terry group earlier this afternoon at the our first show that we covered today. <laughs> and that's it for the Terrier group. So our Judge Ann Katona gets to walk down the line and have another look at a very full dog. group of terriers. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to see if she wants to make a cut, well, have a short list. With 32 in here, I think you almost have to I in order so. to get down to what you really like. Because our ring is so full. <laughs> the ring is super full, and it's a big ring, mind you. We've got every breed here. Terrier group. Pretty sure. I think we are missing... We're missing something. The American Hairless Terrier. Oh, look at you. Nailed it. Because I wanted to say it earlier. You and to then talk I was about I was, <laughs> looking, I was looking very mm -hmm. closely to see if we had them all or not. Pulling out the American Staffordshire Terrier. Irish Terrier.
the Celium Terrier. And the Norwich Terrier. So pulling out the Smooth Fox Terrier. And the Carrie Blue. Kept sick. Looked like she's going to have them go one at a time around the ring by themselves. And here's where it all has to come together. Everything the judge wants to see and hopes to see. And that final go around goes the Irish Terrier. The Celium. Norwich. There's the Carrie Blue. And there's a Smooth Fox Terrier. Six beautiful Terriers out there. One of them. Be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets to be the winner? Who gets to be the lucky dog? Pulling out the American Staffordshire Terrier, followed by the Norwich and the Smooth Fox Terrier. Irish and the Terrier. Irish Terrier. And there you go. One, two, three, four. The American Staffordshire Terrier has won its second group of the day. Congratulations. There we have the end of two fine groups of Terrier judging today. Thank you all for watching. We're going to send Bill out, get a couple of words from our winner and our judge, Ms. Katona. I'm here with our winner of the Terrier Group, Poncho the American Staffordshire Terrier, his breeder and owner and handler, Ed Thomason, and our judge, Ann Katona. What made the difference for Poncho this afternoon? Type, 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 type. This dog reeks type, and he's good on his feet, coming and going, and what a beautiful headpiece. Special, special dog. It was really fun to watch. Ed, I, I ask this of people sometimes. I'm going to ask it of you. If you wanted the world to know one thing about the American Staffordshire Terrier, what, what's the one thing you want people to walk away with? They're happy, they're loving, they're goofy, they are no different than anybody's golden retriever on the front porch of their house or on the, on, here at home watching this right now. Well, it was obvious when you had Poncho out there because his tail was wagging all the time. When you were going over, his tail was wagging. It was really fun to watch. Thank you so much for joining us here in California at the Great Western Terrier Association. We'll be back next weekend from Palm Beach, Florida on AKC TV.